Why, hello there, people. What's going on? My name is Big Moon, and this here is episode number five of the Battlefield Tough Place. It's been a long time coming, this episode, so I'm not going to keep you waiting any longer. Let's go. For clip number one this week here, we have Danny Scoffer, and he is points to Battlefield 4 just diving out of a helicopter and very quickly whips out his SRR-61 sniper rifle and pulls off an outrageous headshot on an enemy helicopter pilot. With how little time he had to react and adjust, that is a very nice shot under the circumstances. Our next clip comes from Dexter, and he is playing Battlefield 3 Rush on Marquez Monolith, I think. It's been a long time since I've played this map, and uh, just off of what I can see here, I think that's what it is. My memory is fucking awful, so sometimes I forget shit. I'm sorry. Please use the M416 assault rifle, gets a headshot there on an enemy player through the smoke, and uh, it's now time to go running towards the BM comm station. A very, very aggressive push from his team there after they do come up and take A. Now, pretty much as one big wave with Dexter being the spearhead of this wave, they're just going to go charging right in here towards the MCOM station and kill pretty much anyone in their way. Now, it started a bit slowly, I know. Dexter's gotten a couple of kills here and there, but nothing too crazy. Now is pretty much when the clip starts. He jumps in this room of the MCOM station, takes down two guys, I think he took one out outside, reviving people, arming the MCOM station. This point streak that you're seeing on screen just now goes for a while. Now getting over 1,000 points, 1,100 points, he's just reviving and killing people left, right and centre. Don't know what those two guys were, more guys, I'm not even sure how many people he just sprayed down just there. I don't know what they were doing. All the shit is happening over here and they were just piled up on one big corner. But yeah, Dexter absolutely demolishes once he gets in the MCOM station room, with over 2,000 points in the streak, taking the MCOM station to boot, and getting revived right at the end. Nice clip. Now this next clip here from Rise Ervivus is a bit of a weird one, and that's kind of why I put it in. I don't normally take Rende's out, but when you're shooting the guy, when he's way behind you on the map, and you're just... I mean, this is probably just totally luck, but I just thought it was weird, so I just wanted to show. Look on the map where the jet is, and look where he aims. I've just never seen anyone take out a jet like that, and I think it was deliberate too. Now our next clip here comes from Roll the Dice, and that pretty much seems to be what he's doing in this clip. He's gambling with using a taser, and nothing but a taser. Except for one exception, you you'll see that in a second. So he's already taken down like three people, using nothing but the taser. This fourth guy here, I don't know what the deal is with him. It looked like he got him, but no. And then it looked like he got him again, but no. So he's just instead just golf clubs him to death because that was pretty much his only option in that scenario just there. So since he did take him down, I, I guess non-lethally with a golf club, he interrogates the guy, gets the positions of the enemy team, takes one more guy down with the taser before moving right through this house looking for some more targets, and he does a little bit of wandering at this point, so I'm just gonna skip ahead to when he does find some more people. He goes right down the middle of the map here, just just coming up behind these guys just camping inside this burnt out building once again takes the guy down with the taser is just going to stay nearby to let the guy pass out and die and then just uh, interrogate him again i guess that works the guy's completely stone dead or just out cold but you still managed to get the info from him somehow, but he takes down two more people using the taser and uh, as he comes back around the first guy does start to get back up again takes a taser right to the face and um, doesn't get the kill instantaneously following this guy upstairs. He gets unlucky before taking out another guy that with nice streak. Next up today here we have Sergeant Blaze and he's playing some Battlefield 3 on Dama Van Peek and for some reason he didn't include the first kill that he got in the clip. I'm not really too sure why but he's killed two people in the past 10 seconds or so so there's another headshot for you there. And he's just going to be holed up behind these pipes here because they're providing good cover for him while giving him a good view of everything in front of him. So he's already taken down a couple of guys using his L96 and uh, just getting a grenade down on top of the enemy position. He doesn't quite get the kill on that guy but uh, this guy threw the smoke second time gets taken out with a body shot before he turns his attention back towards the uh, main threat over here on the right hand side taking down two guys or eventually two guys as he does take the guy's head off with that last shot just there and why not just clear the mains off the way there and make sure you can push up with your armor getting a reload in he's all ready to go once again looking through this uh, Little spot again over through those pipes, takes down one guy as he tries to cross the street there with a body shot using the L96. And uh, now he just sort of spots this little bird just chilling over there for whatever reason. And he gets a hit marker, unfortunately, on the pilot, not quite taking the guy's 
head off completely. Uh, but moving up, he does spot himself a few more people to try and acquire eventually. Getting a bit too ahead of myself, but once he moves up here, gets a headshot followed by a second swift kill. Doesn't quite see that guy though. Next up today here is Pro Nation Mike's playing on Hollywood Heights Team Deathmatch on Battlefield Hardline. Now, you may have noticed it just there, right? The first person he shot, his point streak jumped all the way up to 1000 instantly. Was that a point boost thing? I don't even know what the deal was with that. It all of a sudden just jumped up so much, but he's killed quite a few people already in this clip and he's gonna kill a lot more. But yeah, check that at the start. I was a bit confused there for a few seconds about what the deal was with that. But he takes position here in the pool on Hollywood Heights and it is a really, really good position that he's in just here. He's just gonna let the enemy players just funnel up this hill to his right hand side and he is just clearing out absolutely every single one of them. Except that one guy, he just got away and then he died. So he's still technically killed him. I don't know, it's weird. But he killed so many people in such a short time frame just there, he makes the mistake of pushing out of his comfort zone here and gets killed. Nice clip. Next up today here we have Rustling Gemmers and he's playing on Battlefield 3 on uh, some Operation Metro using the AN-94. Very nice assault rifle in this game and actually really, really underused. He's already killed two people just like that, jumping outside he takes one guy down getting himself a kill assist on the other. But he decides to take the fight to the enemy players running right outside. It seemed to run in a little bit of a standoff situation and it happens so much on Conquest on Operation Metro where one team is outside the Metro, other team's inside the Metro and they just chew each other to pieces. Very rarely does someone actually slip through this big net and that is exactly what Rustling Jimmers has done just here and he is gonna make the enemy team pay for their mistake and I don't know what this guy was just doing just here, he was just hiding in the corner, apparently he had an 8 kill streak on the go and he's just chilling back there and he just runs around and just murders him, takes down another couple of guys, moving around the back, takes down further one guy before moving inside the cafe upstairs here and again he's just gonna murder everyone. I really like this little move here, he goes around, jumps out the window, surprises those two, takes them out with ease, he's got himself a 1500 point streak at the moment, gets himself a revive and it's always good to see that in one of these really nice streaks where they do take the time to actually pick other players up on the team. It's too often I see people just ignoring people lying on the ground, just calling out for help. But he runs in here, this guy was AFK, killed another one guy before he gets eventually overcrowded. Nice clip. Now, number 8 here from ADXPT FPS, very catchy name indeed, is a really weird one. So apparently he's playing 64 player rescue, which is obviously just batshit crazy. Every single player only gets one life and this guy decides to use that one life by ziplining all the way through their entire defense and coming right up behind them with a sniper rifle and I think a G18. He takes one guy down there using his AWM and then he just goes on a murder spree with his silenced G18 and it's just beautiful. One act like this could just single handedly win this entire round. It's a really nice play. I just wanted to show it up there and I hope you guys enjoyed that, something different. Our next clip today here comes from Virus12 and he's playing some Battlefield 4 on Siege of Shanghai and he's going to be armed with a CSLR4 sniper rifle as well as a little sidearm just there taking a couple of guys down on the stairs. Takes down another two guys as he moves up into the middle of the map with the M9 pistol and um, I just really liked some of the shots in this clip. He takes the guy's head off there with using nothing but a no scope and he's just going to move up and get himself in position up these stairs and uh, now he's pretty much just going to rain death down upon his enemy players here. He just takes guys out left and right with some very nice shots. I mean, there's a couple of misses here and there but overall very nice accuracy. He's a very nice streak where he kills 10 people with some nice shots thrown in between in a very short time span. Nice clip. Now, with our final clip this week, we have Mr. Noises, and he's flying a little bird helicopter on Dawnbreaker Battlefield 4, and this is one of the best helicopter streaks that I've seen for a long time. To the point where I just want to turn the music up, let you guys sit back, relax, and enjoy the clip. So, let's just do that.
I just love the fact that all of a sudden he just turns on any enemy aircraft and murders everyone. So a very nice streak, good sir. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Battlefield Top Plays. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button down below. I'm sorry for the delay in getting this one out in the first place. I had no intention of this taking about a month to get pushed out, so I apologize about that, and I'll try and make sure it doesn't happen again going forward. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.